Hey everyone, it's Frugal Horse Girl, and today I'm going to be doing another part of my getting ready for show season um, uh, videos. And today it's going to be what to bring to a horse show with you. Um, as you can tell, I have this huge list written up. I'm sorry about the lighting. It is really cloudy here today, so I have some natural light from the window. And then I have my light on because it just wasn't bright enough. So I'm sorry if there's something funky going on with the lighting today. Uh, yeah, let's get started. So the first thing I do is I grab a notebook and my lucky purple pen and I write up um, what I need to bring for the show. The first thing I do is I write the show name and the date from when I'm going to be at the show. Um, just so I know like how much uh, f feed to bring and everything. Typically I'm gone from a Friday through a Sunday. So I usually only bring like three bales of hay if I'm going away and I'm staying at the show. Um, yeah, that's discussed in the food. Okay, so the first thing I do when I get my list is I have to go get my horse first. So I start with the shipping on my list. So the shipping section is just what I'm going to use while he's in the trailer. Um, his trailer has a huge manger in the front, so it's not like I need a hay bag or anything in there. Um, I just put a few flakes of hay up there and call it good. Um, while we are riding, while we are, <laughs> while we're driving in the trailer, he really doesn't need that much. But if it's chilly out, um, he has a sheet or even his winter blanket on. Typically it's just a sheet and if we have to show on the Friday, I put a sleazy on him just so he stays nice and bright and white because he is a white and brown horse. Um, he also has shipping boots just because I don't want him to step on himself or get stocked up while he's in the trailer for long drives. If we're just going to my local show grounds, it's only like a 20 minute drive so I typically don't put his shipping boots on him. Just because the roads, I know the roads pretty well and I know it's not too bumpy. Um, he stands up really well in the trailer and he loads perfectly fine. But if we are driving a long ways, it's just more comfortable for him. Sorry. Oh yeah, if we're going far distances, I just want Dakota's legs to be covered because I don't know how the roads are going to be. And if he gets at stoplights too long, he tends to kick at his trailer. Um... So that's always fun. Sorry, let me get in frame here. So the next thing I do when I go to a show is I would put my horse in the stall. So I want to make sure I have the stall prepared and everything at the top of the pile in the car or the truck when we get to the show. So I like to make a section just for the stall. Um, I always bring at least two buckets um, for water because I'm not sure... Uh, if it's really hot, I like to make sure that he has enough water at, that'll get him through the day or the night if I'm not there. Um, also, if he, you know, poops in one or something happens to one of the buckets, there's a backup bucket. Um, next thing I bring is bucket hooks just because not all barns you go to like fairgrounds have bucket hooks so it's always good to have your own um oh what does this say hay bag I always bring two hay bags with me just in case same thing with the buckets I want to make sure he has enough hay and if something happens to one of the hay bags I really like it if I could have a second one just so his hay doesn't have to go in the ground and he just spreads it all in his stall um, I also bring shavings, unless they are selling shavings at um, the place or if there's a TSC nearby or some sort of horse store or something that sells them. I'll typically buy them there. I really don't like bring them with me. But if I'm traveling a distance and I know there's no TSC or horse store or there on there, I'll just bring my own shavings just to make it easier. Um, I also bring a pick just so I can clean up his stall. Typically, um, if I'm traveling with my teammates, um, we all plan on who's bringing the wheelbarrow. So if it's my turn to bring the wheelbarrow, I'll bring a wheelbarrow. But typically I can get out of that because that's a lot of extra room. 
and I don't like bringing it and some people have bigger trailers and they can just fit it in their trailer. Um, I also bring a grain pan just so I know that there's somewhere that my horse's grain can go. Um, because not all stalls, again, have mangers, and you don't know exactly what's in the manger. So, um, Dakota likes eating out of his own grain pan, too. So it's really nice if when I can bring his own. Also, sometimes I'll bring a salt block and put it in there, because he gets bored in the stall, and that gives him something to munch on if we run out of hay. I'm also bring polo wraps. If your horse stocks up really easily, um, I would recommend putting... Oops, sorry putting them in polo wraps while they're in the stall. Um, it just lets the blood flow better. Um, next thing I do when I get to a horse show, after I put him in the stall, I always give him food. Um, so I always bring at least three bales of hay. Uh, you never know what's going to happen. Uh, you might get a rain day at the show and you can't ride at all. There's no indoor arena or something and you just want to be prepared. Or your horse ends up lame at the show and you can't take him home because they won't let you take him home. Some places are like that. I mean, some shows are like, oh, once your horse is here, you have to stay here. I just, I've been to shows like that before, and it's kind of a bummer because if your horse pulls up lame, then you're stuck there watching all these horses and you can't do anything. Two portion grain is the next thing. Um, you don't want to bring, at least I hate bringing like my whole grain tub because that's about 50 pounds and I don't want to have to carry that from my trailer to wherever his stall is at in the barn um, pre-portioned grain and I don't know if people are taking his grain or not so with pre-portioned grain I know how much he's getting um, and I know people won't be stealing it because I usually put the date that it's going on there in evening or a.m. p.m. or a.m. on there too so I know exactly how much he's getting and when he's getting it, and I can keep tr and track. I can keep track of that. Um, also, supplements. Dakota gets um, what are they called? Electrolytes. They just go in his water. Um, usually, if it was like a cough med or something like that, I would have it pre-portioned out already and in his grain and everything, just so I know that he's getting it once a day. Um, but with the electrolytes, you just put a scoop of it in his water, and I usually just keep that in my grain su uh, grooming supplies. It's really good to have electrolytes for your horses if they're doing a lot of work. Like, um, if you're a cross-country kid, and your horse is running those cross-country courses, it's just like if we were out to go out and run, you know, a marathon. We would need electrolytes back in our body, and that's all they do. It's like a Gatorade for us kind of deal. Cookie! Oh! We're down here. Cookies. Um, if your horse eats cookies constantly. Uh, my horse really doesn't like cookies that much. I mean, he has a few brands that he actually likes. Um, he's really particular about them, though, and I typically don't bring them to a horse show. Usually I have a bag of carrots or some bananas with me that he enjoys eating instead. Um, next thing I usually put up at the top right corner is all the tack I'll need. Um, I show English, so I always have English tech with me. If you show Western, it's basically the same thing. Ugh. You're going to need a saddle, a girth or cinch, a bridle. Um, if you have a breast collar or breast plate. You'll I also have on here saddle pads. Um, I always bring two saddle pads with me. I bring my show pad that has my number slots in it and another fitted white pad just because if one gets really dirty or it gets ripped or something happens to it, I have a backup pad that I can just pull out of my trailer and use. Um, I also bring with me a saddle rack, and that's so I have something to put my saddle on. on. Um, if you ride in... No. Oh, why did I put that on there? Oh, if your horse rides in boots, um, you definitely want those. I would just do flat work with Dakota. We don't do jumping or speed or anything, and if we did do speed, he would just be cantering anyways, so I don't run him or anything. He's quite the lazy little horse. Uh, okay, so the next thing I have is the show outfits, because he usually starts showing on Saturday mornings, and I show saddle seat and hunt seat. Bring with me, but if I was just going to a hunt seat show, I would just need my jacket, 
um, my shirt, my pin, and my collar, my breeches, my belt, um, my earrings. I always have like a nice pair of earrings. Obviously, I don't have my ears pierced. I have clip-on earrings, so by the end of the weekend, my ears usually hurt really badly. But it's worth it because it looks really nice and it catches the judge's attention. Um, I would always bring your helmet, um, hairnet, boots, spurs, and socks. Um, I always bring socks with me for showing. Um, they're just really nice thin sock, especially in the summertime. Um, the next thing I put down here is all the miscellaneous things. So like a bridle rack. I know that's not needed because usually on a saddle rack they have the hook in the front and you can just put your bridles right on there. If you have like if you have more than one or you have your show halter, I would definitely recommend getting a bridal rack. They're pretty inexpensive. They usually run for about 6 or $7 on horse.com, I believe it is. I usually go to used tax sales and you can find them for like 2 or $3. Um, they're I typically new. That's what I did. I got a couple bucket hooks and they were like $2. Then I got a saddle rack. Not a saddle rack. A bridal rack and it was four dollars I believe so it was a really good deal on that um, also I would need my dressage whip and my hunt seat crop um, if you need to lunge your horse you definitely want to bring your lunge line and your lunge whip um, I don't lunge Dakota he just stands there stands there and stares at me like all right are we done for today because you know time's flying mom we don't have time to run like this so he typically decides not to participate. Um, sunglasses if it's going to be sunny out. And sunscreen. I fry at horse shows no matter how much sunscreen I put on. So also Dakota has a really white nose and it turns pink in the summertime because he gets so sunburned. So I always had to put sunburn, sunscreen on my horse. Um, you're also going to want leather polish if you're riding and it's rainy. Um, you always want to put leather um leather cleaner on there just so you can rehydrate it and boot polish um, keep your boots nice and clean also with the leather polish just just um, even if it's like muddy or something you just want to be able to clean it up um, I also have a section for braiding and band uh, for braiding I just have scissors and scissors and rubber bands um, my mom typically does the braiding for me oh quick braid I would put quick braid underneath here too. It's like hairspray for horses and it smells really good and I absolutely love it. It works so good. I would definitely recommend it if you're braiding. Because um, we used to use like the Aussie hairspray because that hold, would hold his hair really good because he got thick hair. But then we found this quick braid stuff and I love it. It's really good. Um, so the next thing I have in here, it's just all under like miscellaneous kind of deal, um, is my grooming box and my purple stuff is in the trailer purple stuff is like it's by cowboy magic i want to say and it's purple and it like turns your horse purple and then if you have a white horse and then it makes it like oh it's white and bright white and bright that's what it's called and it just makes your horse nice and shiny and beautiful for the next day um and then if you have like a medical kit for your horse um uh, with some vet wrap, cotton wrap, a thermometer, scissors, all those different kind of things. I would definitely recommend bringing that to a show because you never know what's going to happen. You never know if a friend's horse is hurt or something and they need it and they don't have a medical box. I actually don't have one, but it is in the works to get one this year because it's definitely needed just because I want to be prepared if something does happen. Um... I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'm probably going to be making one of the get ready for show season with me next month too. And then in June, I'll probably make a few more just because I start showing in June. And I am super excited about it. Um, like, you have no idea how excited I am about it. Like, I guess so. You guys ride horses too. And it's exciting when show season comes around because then you start giving your horses baths and they just look so cute. I just, oh, so cute. I can't handle it anymore. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Tell your friends, subscribe, and have a great day. Bye.